Welcome to the second part of the LCD Hacking sequel. Now I have to identify the wires, so I cut off the connector and took away some unnecessary wires like uh, this whole sensor which senses uh, when you close the display and this is uh, wires for backlight so I can put these wires away right now and here's uh, what left uh, so immediately you can see that uh, we have uh, differential pairs and these two are pro most probably clocked and the rest is PCC and the free free wires on the left are for EEPRO memory. Because the wires are really thin and they tend to break apart, I've made this small little jig. It's always a good idea if you make some project with the very thin wires to fix them so they don't vibrate and do not came loose. I would like to point out a few things that I overlooked. The first one is uh, that there is actually reference to some chip which has a complete specification how is the packing of uh, the LVDS pairs done. Actually looks like this. This is just some table from NXP datasheet. And right now I can display red and green uh, colors on the display. I have some issues with blue colors, uh, but that uh, could be because of these color share same wire with uh, synchronous signals. And now after many hours of struggling, I can finally display white image. Ray. I've used the code from genius.org uh, website. Uh, there's a lot of uh, useful information about connecting LCD. Uh, also, there are some timings and nice uh, time diagrams. First, I would like to point out that uh, I'm really a beginner in VHDL and I'm still learning, so the code uh, won't look as good as uh, if I would do VHDL for years. Uh, so uh, let's start uh, with the explanation with a small explanation of the code. So uh, this is the basic uh, declaration of outputs. Uh, this is based on Genius's uh, code. Then uh, because this is a dual LVDS uh, panel, I had to add uh, another four LVDS pairs, and these pairs are defined the same like the normal output. So I just copy the same value from this pair to that pair and I do the same for the rest of the signals. Also for basic debugging I've added uh, some output signals uh, which are single-ended signals and I can connect my logic analyzer directly to these pins but uh, because uh, the output uh, of these pins is very fast is really really quick changing i've uh, also added a clock multiplexer and with this multiplexer i could uh, use the clock from pll which runs uh, now about 200 megahertz or i could uh, use simple uh, rc oscillator on chip the outputs uh, from the fpgas the differential outputs have uh, simply set lvds 25e settings and uh, of in my clock uh, resources uh, I had to select the clock as, as a primary because it's a really high frequency clock net. After a few more hours of playing with VHDL code I can display this red rectangle and a small one pixel thick moving strip I've created a small demo. Uh, you can uh, use the buttons to move some rectangle and green stripes on the screen. I'm satisfied that I get this far. I will try to convert this display into simple digital clock. Subscribe, like or comment the video if you want or if you have any ideas what to do next with this display. And see you next time.